Popcorn reactions back in fashion. Divine attribute. My name is Showdowns. Good to see you all. I'm glad some of you guys can make it. If this is your first time hanging out with us, come on, have a seat. We got Milwaukee's best in the refrigerator. We have mustard sandwiches and salmon cheese sticks. Let's get into the party today. Today's show is sponsored by the good folks over at Touch Your Money Daily. TouchYourMoneyDaily.com. Pick you up some merch. Shout out to Sean D. Okay, I want to do this. The 2016 Thriller Horror, The Conjuring Part 2. If you haven't caught the first installment, I'll leave a link down in the description. Get you caught up, Jesse. A lot of times I find myself in franchises. Nobody told me Freddy Krueger had 32 movies. Now I gotta watch them all. The Conjuring was a fantastic movie. And as a new horror fan, I'm just having such a great time with this genre, I'm trying to tell you. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, yes, I said subscribing. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you should do it. A lot of fantastic content. Showdown be wilding out. And I talk in third person. All right, James Wine. Let me take this sweatshirt off. You know Vera and Patrick gonna give you an A1 performance. The year before the Lutzes moved in, a young man named Ronnie DeFeo had brutally murdered his entire family in this house. What did you do? What did you do? Damn, that's done. Who is that? Was that her daughter? Honey, you okay? What do you say? What the world? What? No way. If my mum ever found out, I'd be dead. So don't get caught, you priss. Here, hold this. She ain't tell on nobody. Lesbo. What? Are you talking about your mum? Oh. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, to quit smoking anyway. Margaret. This camera work yes. is... You got your school uniform? Fuck it with me. Is that Starsky a Hutch on the wall? It sure is. My sister and I want to know... <clears throat> are there any spirits here that want to communicate with us? Boy... Atmosphere. should agonise over it, Peg. God knows I had not share of fags at school, do you? But it's something very different to have been there and experienced it for yourself. And by the time his wife is done blowing smoke and ringing bells, they've got everybody else believing in ghosts too. This is somebody who's sitting here telling lies about my wife and Be me. Be careful who you call a liar. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> he said, what you going to do about it? I have a ghost fight in this bitch. Could you please take a breath? I know, breath? I know, I know. I'm counting to ten. I'm counting to ten. All right, let's we'll try again. You ready? A biscuit, a cookie. Found a crooked sixpence upon. This is my house. No, no, it's not. Go away. You're the one trespassing. Shut it, wake up. Better get that girl some alcohol. Cold plus medicine or something. Ah, right, nah, you gotta wake up. We gotta talk about this shit. You go back to sleep, and tell them what you gonna do. Stay All away right. from Billy. Leave us alone, you idiot. Shut up! What you doing? There's no one here. Let's 
settle though. Ghost that don't like you cutting off his program. Mm -mm. Do you know when you'll be home? You really want to challenge this ghost over this TV show? I just turned it back and left it. I don't even know what that is. But whatever it is, this is its program. It's program. See? Now nobody gets to watch TV. It's one of those type of people. My house! Bye. <laughs> Get out of that man house. Saw this thing. When I woke up, I couldn't get out of my head. So. Couldn't be because of all that shit y'all got in the room downstairs, could it? What are you doing that for? In case I go sleepwalking again. <laughs> Man, listen. Everybody in the house needs to wake up right now. Taking turns scaring the wits out of each other? <laughs> That'd have been us. Screaming and hollering and wailing. I've seen it with my own eyes. The bloody thing went clear across the room. <laughs> they don't look like they ready. Okay, that's it. Yep. Well, ma'am. Well, there's uh, that's right. nothing we can do about that's that. That's right. I think this is a bit beyond us. I mean, what you want them to do? They can't even take that back to the station. Who's that? At her house. They just pop up at the house like that? And he hung that picture up. <laughs> right there looking at you. That ain't no picture. Well, you better swing. You better swing on him. Swing on that mother. Jump out at you. Man. Shit. Grab that. Vase, a lamp, or something. We're with the uh, television news program Wide Angle. I was hoping to have a word with you about Wide Angle. I'd rather not have my business spread all over the telly, if you don't mind. Getting your side of the story out might be your best chance of finding help. Behind the doors of this seemingly normal house in Ponders End, North London... I saw the chair slide by itself. Well, I don't think there's any doubt about it at all. The sheer number of documented incidents in this case is absolutely staggering. Is anybody there who wishes to communicate? I say again, is anybody there? 
Well, it isn't a jukebox, is it? Janet, are you all right? Stop calling me Janet. <laughs> My name is Morris Gross. Who are you? My name is Bill Wilkins, and I'm 72 years old. <laughs> Why don't you just leave us alone? Shut up, you old cow! What the fuck is that? I don't know, I think he's been walking The around. crooked man stepped forth and rang the crooked bell. Bill, 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 Bill. The voice on this tape is coming from an 11 year old girl. Wait, that's why you locked yourself away for eight days? You saw my death? You've seen it too. If anything turns out dangerous in any way, we're gonna tell the church and we're gonna get out. All I know is, y'all better get out of this man out. Well, I'll be off then, Peg. Will you tell the kids I said hello? Yeah, of course I will. This is where the girls used to sleep, but we don't use it anymore. Has it worked? No. We can hear it all night. I'm just so tired. I can't sleep here. Everyone's afraid of me. Around the time this all started, Janet started waking up here in the middle of the night. My ex-husband bought all the furniture with the house when we moved in. Is your ex-husband still in the picture? No. Nope. Reconciliation? He had twins with a woman from around the corner. Does it ever say things just to you that only you can hear? Um, do we really need that? It's December the 21st, 1977. This is Ed and Lorraine Warrens. If there's something here that would like to communicate with us, we're all ears. Speak up. What do you want with this girl and her family? So what do you think, Bill? We've given you your privacy. Now come on out and talk to us. Am I talking to the spirit that's oppressing this family? Is that what I'm doing? Yes. Now I've come to put a stop to it. Your father calls you Edward. Why don't you just leave these people alone? What would be so wrong with going to heaven? I am not a heaven man. You see this? Let go! Oh, shit. That would explain the multiple personalities and hallucinations. I heard that voice with my own ears, but all I can sense is their own fear. Bite wounds Janet received the first night. It's faded a bit here, but you can still make it out. Peggy was the one who saw someone attacking Janet. But she teleported herself into a room locked from the outside. To believe when nobody else will. So you really do believe them? Yes, we do. Whose guitar is that? Oh, it was Dad's, but he said I could have it. Yeah, do you mind? <laughs> uh, we're gonna have some music up here one way. A little rusty. I just play some shit myself. Eyes, <laughs> men say, can't help falling in love. And a dude can sing, too. Something grabbed my hand and yanked me right to the floor. It was too dark to see under there. But let me tell you, I ran out of there so fast. Hey! 
We're done here. Fix the closet door, too. My daughter died in a car crash several years ago. Experienced things. I think she wanted to communicate with me. Go all the way under there and fix that joint. <sighs> Don't be fucking around like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> she is going crazy. Oh, my God, look. Oh, God, you're scratched. It's not a scratch, it's a bite mark. He bit me the side just like he did, Janet. Johnny. Johnny, what are you doing? Johnny, please come back. Johnny, uh, you need to take your little ass back. What's the matter? What's happened? Johnny, oh, get down! No! Darling! Oh, darling, come here. You're alright. She done went out the front door. How do you get her out of that? What is it? She's faking it. Oh, you think I put her up to this? What about the police? Are they in on this too? No, it's all right. What, what about you two? Get out, lot of you. Get out. We're agents of the church here. They'd be calling us home even if Peggy hadn't asked us to leave. Bitch started the whole world crying. They started the joke, they started the whole world crying. It's on me. He was referring to himself, right? Yeah, I thought he was talking about something else. Me. Won't. Tell me it won't let me go. Must be pretty strong. I come here to see my family. I'd like to go now. So badly. It almost has a. I don't understand. I Please, I. He's been enslaved to where he used to weaken Janet's will. Enslaved? Enslaved by who? <laughs> Boy, pushing it. Something like, uh, I am given and I am taken. Man, he is pushing that joint in the rain. No problem. Damn. He is right behind Ed. Let me try. We need to break it down. Just wait for me. Please wait for me. But I have to help her. Ed, no! no! Ed said he gotta help this girl. If that's my fate, then I'm, I still, I still accept. A brave man. <laughs> well, we're gonna need a part two for you to get in that door at the rate you going. Hey, 
So that's the thing that's keeping him? Fuck is that? Well, she is strong as shit. Okay. Uh, in the water. Not only held her husband fall out the window, but another child. That's about 12, 13 years. Are you blind? Still trying to help. Wow. You saved her. <laughs> it did come back. This has kept me safe since I was a kid. You find someone who needs it, you give it to them. horror thriller the conjuring 2 i was more concerned for the family which is like an emotion you normally have with these types of movies but i really wasn't scared i was scared for them first one i was i was nervous about myself this one uh, you know stakes wasn't of course everyone always gives fantastic performance can't complain about that so i'll say it was cool it's not a bad movie didn't wow me or woe me or whatever the one that works I don't really complain much other than like terrible terrible movies but uh, let, me decide. let me know what you thought about this movie how did it play out for you it's got his moments it's damn sure got his moments but there was a lot going on let's talk about it like we always do we talk movies here you mess with me